Hello, Karen and everyone else. I am so pleased, Karen, to be able to thank you for the amazing gifts that you've given to animal trainers around the world. And at the same time, wish you a happy birthday. I first met you in person about 20 years ago, and it was when my career organization, Guide Dogs for the Blind, was first implementing clicker training and working very hard at trying to change a large traditional training program and historical traditional training program over to clicker training. A lot of people don't realize that uh, guide dog training started way back at World War I. And uh, so that's a long time for those original traditional techniques to have been uh, established and trusted in. So it wasn't an easy audience, this industry, uh, because it's so established for so many decades and people have been learning for years and years how you train guide dogs. And the fact is it worked and uh, blind people were traveling safe, safely, uh, but this was a whole new world for us and your support meant everything. When you first visited our campus in Oregon, uh, this is when we were still in the baby, baby steps, stages of clicker training. I was so pleased when you enthusiastically agreed to take a walk with a guide dog under blindfold, meaning you can't see. Uh, that's a scary proposition for anyone. Uh, forget about working the dog, uh, just the fact that you can't see where you're going uh, so you might have been putting your trust in us uh, and the dog because, of course, uh, a couple of us were there to, to help keep you safe. But at the same time, that's a very scary thing to do. You knew how important it was, though, for you to understand what we did. What was the goal? What was the outcome? What was that final goal training program that a dog had and, and what were they like and what did they have to work with in a blind handler. I have a clip of that that we're going to show right now so everyone can see you taking that brave walk. Uh, there'll be a couple places where your balance is a little iffy and that's true of anyone that walks under blindfold. Uh, it takes a while to actually get uh, pretty adept at being able to walk without seeing. But I'll never, I'll never forget the impact it had on you. So we'll watch that clip now. enjoy watching that clip and I love the look on your face at the end and how you were so focused on your guide dog. I, I also am not sure that you understand the impact in the guide dog industry, how far reaching that has gone at this point. Uh, currently, most guide dog programs across the world are using positive reinforcement training in some way or extensive clicker training and positive reinforcement training. This is all because of you. So I have a little something for you that I'm gonna send in the mail. And it's a simple laminated placemat for you to have your lunch or whatever. It's a world map 
and on the map is marked all the programs across the world, guide dog programs. Uh, so you can get a rough idea how many programs there are. It's not a huge industry, but it reaches far. On the other side is a very long list of names. And these are guide dog trainers and trainers in within a guide dog program, such as puppy trainers, people who work with the, the breeding stock, everything who is now working with positive reinforcement. So I had to use a really small font because I had so many people who wanted to be on this list to officially thank you. Thank you for what you brought, not only to the animal training world, but to the guide dog industry. So I can't tell you enough on their behalf, how important it is to be able to say thank you to you. Their worlds have changed, totally changed. And for those young people who have come in and never knew anything other than clicker training guide dogs or using positive reinforcement in a guide dog program, they still understand the impact the change made. Heartfelt from Michelle to Karen, thank you big time. My world has changed and you've changed so many so many, many other worlds. So the happiest of birthdays to you and thank you.